Hi guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian. And today I'm gonna to talk about why is your cat or dog's eye green with goopy discharge? Like I said, we're talking about green goopy discharge in your pet's eyes today. So I'm gonna use cat and dog kind of back and forth as I talk because I tend to keep treat them kind of similarly. But when it comes down to it, the end result may be different. So today, when a dog comes in with a goopy eye, the first thing I do is I will do a couple different tests. One, I'll do something called a shimmer tear test. I will test to see how dry the eye is. Because sometimes we get dry eye where tears are not being produced and that will cause a very mucusy dry eye. That, the eye can feel like sandpaper, people say. So as they go to blink, there, there's, no, there's no tear production. And the tear production, the eye is not hydrated and it gets goopy and it's more likely to get infected and irritated. If that's normal, the next thing I'll do is I'll numb the doggy's eye. And then I'll put some eye drops in there, which is fluorescein stain. Just like humans, I'm looking to see if there's any trauma to the eye. Did we get scratched? Did we rub at it too hard? The fluorescein is really cool because on the eye, you have the cornea, right? The clear part of the eye, just like the clear part of a camera. And that part, if you scratch it, something called a stroma below it. And that stroma will suck in all the dye. So when I put the stain on, if I wash it off, there's nothing there, we're good. But if I wash it off and there's a little circle of green on the eye, I know we, we scratched our eyeball. And in that case, we have a corneal ulcer. And corneal ulcers heal super quick, but they need an antibiotic, they need an eye drop. If I do my fluorescein stain and it's normal, that means they may have like a bacterial infection or inflammation or an allergy or something like that. And that will change my medication a little bit. So I'll be focusing more on infection or inflammation or allergies. And I may do a combo drop instead of it just a pure antibiotic. Another test I'll do is called tonometry. Just like something that you would have done at your own eye doctor. I test the pressures of the eye. Really high pressures, I worry about glaucoma. The low pressures, I worry about in inflammation in the eye. In cases, the eye heals really quickly and it gets worse really quickly. So the one thing I stress to everybody, please go in and see your veterinarian ASAP if you feel like your dog or your kitty has an issue. Because when we start treating the eyes, most of them heal very quickly. Like three to five days to start cleaning up beautifully. But gone untreated, if you get an infection in that cornea, it can progress very quickly. Now granted, if I can't fix the problem or if it seems too daunting for me, I can always refer you to an ophthalmologist, an, a doggy ophthalmologist. And most bigger cities or medium-sized cities have eye specialists. I know here in Omaha, Nebraska, we have one and she does a great job. So cases that get too daunting or need, you know, eye surgery beyond the eyelids and the third eyelid, I'll just send them over there and that doctor does a great job for us. I've even sent my own doc, dog to see an eye specialist before. Back when I used to live in California and we went out there and that doctor said I was doing a great job so I stayed with it. But like I said, eyes change quickly. So you got to make sure that you're fixing the problem when you're treating. 